One thing I find absolutely stunning about this period between the release of the 2010 document and the 2013 document is the sheer number of data breaches we saw in just a little over three years. According to datalossdb.org, and this is an excellent resource for finding info on breaches, there were a total of 6,173 data breaches. Now as staggering as this number is, it is absolutely positively way too low. These are just the breaches that have been reported publicly. It doesn't include the breaches that were kept private, and it definitely doesn't include the breaches that organisations never even learnt about. And there are plenty of each of those, no doubt about it. The other thing that's quite staggering about this graph is how heavily weighted it is towards the right hand side. So from about mid 2012 onwards, the number of breaches we're looking at hasn't just doubled each month. In quite a number of cases there, it's more than tripled. That is a huge increase in the rate of breaches. As staggering as that is, there's another really big number I want to take a quick look at before we move on. 822 million. That's how many records were breached in 2013. Again, that's just the numbers that are known. It's not the ones that weren't reported, it's not the ones that were never discovered. But we're starting to approach, for the full calendar year of 2013, a billion. This is not just because of the increase in the number of breaches, but also the size of them. Remember, 152 million for Adobe, 110 million for Target. Absolutely huge numbers. Now, just in case there's any doubt whatsoever about the accelerating rate of these breaches, let's look at one more set of figures from datalossdb.org before we move on to the top 10. This is an interesting little table and it details in descending order the 10 largest breaches that we know of, the date they occurred and the organizations impacted. Now clearly there are some pretty big ones here but here's the really interesting thing. Look at all the breaches that have occurred just since the release of the top 10 that we're going to talk about in this course. Five of the top seven breaches have all occurred after June 2013. I'm showing you this not to diminish the relevancy of the document we're going to talk about, but to demonstrate just how quickly this landscape changes. Because to me, this is a staggering figure. Now whether or not this means the next edition of the top 10 has any major changes in reaction to these sort of attacks is yet to be seen. But the one thing I know for sure is that it does mean that we're going to see new editions of the top 10 and we're going to see them continuing to evolve because the landscape is changing so much. So hopefully this has all given you a good sense of how the application security industry is evolving and indeed how the risks and the attacks are accelerating. Now that we understand the importance, let's get back to OWASP.